Hey guys, it's Landon from RH, and in this video, we're gonna do some more work on our digital magazine in Inkscape 1.3. Um, in this video, we're gonna lay out what's called a spread. So, uh, as you can see on the screen, a spread has two opposing pages, so that's it's what you'd see if the magazine was laid open, if it were a print magazine. Um, and so, Inkscape has some cool multi page support now. You can use this little tool down here to create multiple pages. And so, what I've done is just I've just gone ahead and done that. Um, I've, I've created uh, two pages here, eight and a half by 11, um, and set up my, my baseline grid, my text grid. And so, what I want to do now is just kind of set up a typical uh, spread where the article starts on the left page, and, and that'll be standard in the magazine. So the new articles will always start on the left page, and then so we probably need I probably need two spreads for each article. So we'll have this spread, which has the the title of the article on the left side, and then we'll have a, a second spread that's just set up for two regular pages without the without the title. So let's go ahead and and, and see if we can get this set up. So I've got my cover. Uh, from the last video open on the other side here and I am just going to start uh, pasting some text in. Um, now this is obviously uh, way too big for an article title but I'm going to keep it kind of in the same place vertically um, and we'll, we'll go ahead and we're going to fix that size. So that, that needs to come way down. We'll try half. And then, so this is going to be the article title. So the first article we're going to put in this issue. Let me, let me go get that title. All right. So the actual title is File Management. for survey organizations, best practices. Okay, so I know that's going to be too too long already. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, yeah, it's just too long. Let's uh, try 24. And then I'll, what I want to do here is, since this article kind of has a subtitle, is I'm going to grab that other, you know what, let's just duplicate this. So I'm going to move it down. Again, I'm, I'm laying everything out on the on the grid here, and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, so 18. And we're going to let's see. The rest of that title is best practices for a cloud first approach. Okay, um, and I'm not sure if I want to change the color on that or not. We've got that lighter color, which means the subtitle will will uh, won't stand out as much. Let's just steal that color there, and, and I may change that. We'll have to see. Oh, that copied over the size, the font size, which I did not want. Eighteen. All right. Okay, so there's our title. Um, now, I may want, it feels to me like that's hanging down way too low. I, I thought I, that was going to work, but it's probably not. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up here. Um, I'm not going to do author uh, photos here. I'll probably put those in the very first spread, only because I'm going to write most of the articles and I want to see my picture seven times. Um, but we could put a little, you know, we can do what, what's called a byline which just has some information about the about the article, I mean about the author, sorry. So let's see if we can get that in here. So we'll copy this down, and I'm going to make this 12 point. That'll probably fit right up here. Oh, you know what? When you're doing your um, drop and text, sometimes it helps to turn off your bounding box snaps. So then we'll say by Landon Blake. Okay, so there's our little byline. <clears throat> All right, then we're we're gonna um, 
have the the actual body text which we'll lay out here in a second uh, but I got to decide what to do you know we need a we need a page number and probably the logo So let's see what we can steal here. All right, that logo is way too big. Um, I think I'm going to leave it on this side of the page, though. And then we need a page number. So let's go ahead, we're going to just copy this text down here, and we'll uh, line, kind of line that up in the same baseline there as the logo, and we're going to make this, this would probably be page 4, so page 1 and 2 will be for the, for the opening spread. Um, and I could put that, you know, we could, we could try putting this in a bar. Um, I don't know about that. We could try that. Let's just try that. Let's uh, make our grid a tenth of an inch instead of two tenths. And let's see if we can set a bar up here. So I'm just going to draw a simple box. That's probably too big of a bar. Let's try this. Now I haven't I haven't done a good job of my layering, so I will have to fix that at some point. All right. So I'm not sure how that'll look, but we could try it. Um, it does kind of give a little bit of definition to the limits of the of the columns. Now, <clears throat> another thing I was thinking about was um, I think it would be cool to just let the reader know um, kind of what what the article is about and um, you know is it is it what level of professional is it for you know is it is it advanced or um, beginner um, so let's just try that so let's just say category uh, this is going to be featured article and then we could say and there and there's some different ways you could do this and let's say um, level You know what? I'm going to just be survey with it. We're going to call this instrument person. Um, and you know, you might you might make those uh, a different color. We could put them in a box too. Uh, let's go ahead and do some layout boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, where are we going to start laying out this text? So I'm going to say, all right. And I usually like to do my layout boxes as a very faint gray. Um, all right, we can actually start that up here. Because then you could you can go ahead and put this stuff in another box. I'm going to say I want to keep that half inch margin there. And we might just change the color of this to that primary red. Let's see what that what that color is. One forty three three. So I'm just typing in those red, green, blue values. Um, and we might leave it this gray, or you, you could come in. Yeah, I might leave it that gray. You could do black with white text if you wanted. Um, I'll leave it for now. Now I don't think we're going to have this box here, but this is where we're going to put our article text. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to come over here. We're going to create a new text object, and I'm going to run it right out to the limits of that layout box because the box isn't going to be there. So I don't need padding. I don't need padding between the um, 
between the layout box and the text object. Let's try that again. Oh, there it goes. All right, so we're going to say this is um, text. Okay, so let's go ahead. we got to set this up to lay out on our, our grid properly, but let's go ahead. We're going to say uh, we're going to make it light. And we're going to say let's make it a uh, 10 point font. Okay, and let's go in and, and set up our grid. So we're going to say, all right, we want our grid back to two inches on the Y so we can have our, that's our text baseline grid. All right, now we want to set it up so that when it wraps, it wraps around to the next line. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to steal some of the actual article text to paste in here. So we can get the word wrap right. Okay, so you can see that's way too big of a line spacing. So we're going to hit the text key. What we want to do is adjust it so that the, the first letter A here on the next line hits right here. Okay, so we're going to adjust our line spacing. I'm going to try 20. Okay, it doesn't look like that. Let's try 18. Now, when you do that, you got to come in here and realign this. Yeah, it's, it's not even close. Let's go... 12.5. So I don't know of an easy way to figure this out other than trial and error because it's a, it's different with each font. So you can see I'm short here, right? So that was too small. Okay, this looks like it's getting closer now. To check it, you just come down to the bottom and say, "All right, I'm I'm short here, right? I'm I'm falling short." So this this actually needs to be a little bigger. Let's try 14.25. Uh, points okay and then remember you got to readjust that all right still a little small but we're getting close let's try 30 looks like 30 is still too small 35 all right 35 is getting really close all right but it's still a little short let's try 40 All right, so 40 looks like it. You can see we've got a nice, we're fleshing up good with that baseline grid. Okay, so that's what the text will look like. Now let's just put in a subheading there. Um, and so to do that, I'm just going to come up here and copy this. This will be our sub subheading. So we can say introduction. And uh, if we want, we could, uh, this will be black, uh, but we can make this our uh, our primary red again, so let's do that. Go to my fonts and colors. Okay, so that looks all right. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is um, just make this go away, but I can't because I don't have it layered properly. So let's go ahead and make a new layer, and I'm going to call this shapes layout and we're going to move it to the bottom Oop, that's not what I want let's grab that rectangle and we're going to just call this uh, base it's my base layer all right and then for now let's just make one layer for the text I need to clean that up but for now I'm just going to Say text. We're going to put everything on the text title layer for now. Just so I can turn off that box and we can kind of see how this looks. So if you're smart, you don't do like me. You get all your layering set up in the beginning, right? Okay, now we should be able to turn that off, that layout box. So let's go ahead and save this. So save the PDF. I've never actually done that with a multi-page PDF, believe it or not. So let's see what we get. So let me navigate to that PDF. Then we'll open that up in our PDF viewer. Okay, so there it is. There's the first page. And you can see it created the second page, which is blank because we don't have anything on it. Um, so we've got a good start here. Um, I 
you know, I don't know, there's part of me that's like, yeah, you could flip that and put it put it to the side here, but to just to be, you know, just to be crazy, but I kind of like it there. I, I, I almost think I'd like it, uh, maybe get some icons here instead of the the titles, but you guys get a rough idea of what this would look like. Let's go ahead and, and, and lay it out a little better so we can see what the spread would look like. Okay, so once we have this set up now, we can actually um, copy these or duplicate them, and then we can drag them over. Okay, that's the nice thing about working on a spread, is uh, we can figure out where that stuff should go. We can just get it kind of lined up there. Um, now that it, it will need to change. So what you got to do is you got to kind of look at your text content. So we got another heading here after this. So we're going to duplicate that heading. I'll probably do two two line spaces of white there, two two lines before each heading. And let's do our next heading, which is the benefits of a cloud first approach file management. Okay, and then we're gonna we'll copy this regular text down. Okay, now this will have to get adjusted because I'm running off the page here, right? So we're gonna just pull this up, and say, hey, we can't go any lower than that, right? Oop, I went too far. Let's pull that out. Looks like I can go over to here. Okay, so then we'll whoop, we'll get our next. Now, one, one thing that's a little different from doing this layout in Inkscape compared to like uh, Affinity Publisher or Scribus is um, you do have to kind of manually set your text boxes, uh, which isn't a huge deal for me, but I know I know some people would not like that, but for me it's not a big deal. <clears throat> okay, so you got to decide, you know, where, where you can cut off that text. So let me try adding in one more paragraph here. I don't think it's going to fit. Let's see. Yeah. So I don't. I don't want to do this. I don't want. Oh, I've got an extra space in there. So what you got to decide is, do you want to split that bullet three um, to the next page? Um, and I suppose we could. So what that means is, we're not starting with a heading on the next page. So you actually have to come in and figure out. So the last word here. Is makes a uh, so we've got this phrase. This makes a lot of sense for small surveying. Okay, so this we're going to cut because it's going to go on the next column on on the other opposite side of the spread. Okay, and then we can go down and, and grab. So now I have my next subheading. So I'll pull that over here. Whoop! That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so our next subheading is best practices. And we can copy this next little bunch of text here. I've got six best practices. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna duplicate this body text element here and drag it down. And I said I wanted two blank spaces, two blank lines before a new heading. I'm going to put some white space in between my number list items here. And I, I actually don't like that I did two different styles, so that's not consistent. So to be consistent, I need to make these parentheses, which I like better. Now, you can see this the, the text didn't go all the way down, and that's because we got to extend this. And uh, we want to make sure that we copy this bottom, this footer element here. So I'm going to duplicate that. And we'll move that over. Okay, and this will be page five. Okay, and again, we're, we're going to run into the next spread here. Uh, with with bullet, with the rest of bullet item five and part of item six. So this is what a spread will look like. 
So let's go ahead and save this to PDF one more time. And we'll take a look at that. All right, so here's our spread. So that's that's the two pages that would be opposing each other, um, and I'll 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 work on tweaking this a little bit, um, but it's a it's a clean layout and I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so I'll do some more tweaking. I might I might put some icons in here, and yeah, maybe we'll do I'll do some other stuff here, um, but I think it suits our needs. So uh, all right, now you know how to set up a, a opposing two page uh, spread for the first part of an article in Inkscape 1.3. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.